Welcome to our Wildwood Heritage Glen 295 fifth wheel. This sucker is fully loaded, uh, auto leveling, two slide outs, lots of storage. Let's just start up front here. This is where our batteries go and our spare tire, but we still got lots of storage for the dirty things you don't want mixing with your clothes and everything else. Dual propane tanks right here, and they're the big ones, so you guys can go for weeks on end. You have split doors here, so it's a lot easier to access all of your stuff. We've got a water closet with all of our hookups, outside shower. They got a bypass, so it's really quick and easy to winterize this coach. Uh, black tank flush, antifreeze system, everything you want. Along with the auto leveling, it's all right here. Just a touch panel. This will memorize the height of your truck. It'll go right back to that height of that truck when you go to hook onto it after you're all done camping and ready to head home. Got a large 10 gallon water heater. It does gas and electric. You can run both of them super fast, super high output water heater. Nice tinted windows. Of course, like every RV, we got a solid bumper with the receiver hitch back here for all your bicycles. Uh, if you wanna pull a second little small trailer for an ATV or something like that, I'm sure we can accommodate that too. Big storage in the back underneath the bunks. Gives you a little bit of extra space out here for grills and barbecues. With a door that passes through. We got a little outside kitchen here with a barbecue grill, a little spray port for water, and a little mini fridge. All right, we've got a nice large awning. It's way up there, so your door's not gonna catch when you open it going in and out. We got a lighted LED strip. That strip's on the very end in here, so even if that awning's rolled up, you get a little bit of light out here at night. So if you're setting up at night and you get up there kind of late at your campsite, you got a little bit of light. We do have two outside speakers. They're hooked to the entertainment system inside. Those also have lights in them. What I like about these guys is they put the speakers in the pod. So other people cut a hole right in your sidewall and you have a whole bunch of insulation loss. That pod's only got one little hole with a wire going through it that is sealed. So we're not gonna have any issue with cold air getting through there or water damage or anything like that. We also have an inside outside TV mount. So you're gonna have the same mount inside. So that inside TV can come out, come out here and just slide right in. We also have cable that hooks to the antenna on the roof and some power to run that TV. So we've got jacks back here and on the front with a touch of one button, it's gonna lower those down and level that out. They are name brand Goodyear tires on this thing as well, folks, when we're not doing some cheap Chinese knockoff tire that's gonna burn off in a year or two with nitrogen filled and alloy wheels. I mean, these things are loaded. Going inside, we have these solid steps and they, they go up and down just as easy as, as anything else and they'll latch in there and then they'll come right back down. We have adjustable feet here. So if you're parked somewhere where there's a little bit of a hole one spot, we can level that out. But now as we walk, you can see there's, there's no give or bounce on these steps and you can head right in your coach. Inside, we've got cabinets all over the place and they chose to get rid of the cabinets in this area and just do some really big tall windows to let your light in. Really good floor plan. We have a nice large dinette that will seat everybody. And I know some people are fans of the U-shaped dinettes, but these ones actually sit more people as two adults could sit side by side here and all their legs won't run into each other. We have a nice couch that also has a trifold bed in it. So this will fold down and make a nice bed and it's directly across from your TV. So now you don't have to sit there with your head cocked sideways trying to figure out which direction you want to look. And right below the TV, we do have a fireplace that once it's up and running, you'll see the flames and it does produce heat as well. And then this little sound bar here runs the sound on the outside, the inside, you can plug a DVD player into it or a flash drive or anything else that you may have some media on. We have an extremely large double door fridge an RV this size, it's really rare to find such a large fridge. This is a 12 volt fridge, really low amp draw, and it runs off the batteries and the solar panel on the roof will regenerate those batteries. You have a nice cooktop here with a really solid grid stove, a glass cover that's gonna fold down. And they did a nice little touch here, they did just a matching drawer, but it does match the same front as the panel above it, so it just gives a nice finish and touch to it. Everything's Furion, our fridges, our TVs, our everything here is the Furion product. Really well, well built coach. Nice drawers for your silverware. Big, huge storage for pots and pans and everything else you could imagine. The cabinets are tall. As we start looking at some RVs, they do those really short cabinets. 
This gives you two shelves, tons of height to put the, the stuff you don't want the kids to get into on the top shelf. And we even got another big cabinet above the microwave. Lots of storage here. As we come this direction, we have the coolest bunk design I've seen in a while. Not only does it have bunks going east to west, but it also has a north to south bunk with a little bit of a loft area up there. So if you're trying to sleep a lot of kids, this will facilitate it. And everyone says, well, where do all their feet go? We'll throw some little kids up here and let them find out. They'll all fit. We've got quite a bit more cabinets here, some nice outlets. This makes a nice little shelf to put toasters and coffee makers and all your other small appliances, keeps them cluttered and off the countertop, but it gives us a little bar area. We do have a little bit of small storage here, but great for putting movies, DVDs, uh, flashlights, all the fun stuff for camping. More there as well. As we come up here, they do a full panel with switches. But the nice thing about this is we don't have a touch screen that's gonna fail or cause issues. Everything's run through a switch, it's directly hooked up. We do have the two slide outs, the awning, water heater, everything's ran through here, along with LED lights showing you how full your tanks all are, all the way across the board. And here we are in this nice large shower. As you can see, I'm six foot tall and I don't even hit the ceiling, but if you're really tall, I can stand on tippy toes and still fit in this skylight they give you. We have a nice shower on the wall, hot and cold water with the valve to turn that water off so you don't sit there and waste a lot of water to take a shower. Nice glass door that as we shut it, they give you a little bit of a travel lock, but it gives you a nice solid glass door to take a shower with. Toilet is porcelain as it should be, easy to clean, easy to take care of. We've got a huge pantry here for all your towels, all your other pantry needs in the bathroom, toilet paper, etc. Storage underneath there as well. And of course you gotta have a place to put your toothbrush and all your medicine. Pretty good setup. They did put a nice fan in the roof here. So that little small one you typically see, we have a fantastic fan that we can turn on and off with a button on the wall. Really nice setup there as well. Well, welcome to my master suite, come on in. And in this bedroom, you have a bed slide, which is really rare in a bunkhouse this size. Cause with this bed slide, we still get a nice set of drawers here put all your clothes, socks, all that stuff. But then for all the hanging clothes, we have a nice setup here. It's also washer and dryer prep, and we can put a stackable in here, or you can do an all-in-one washer dryer as well. As you can see, you've got hanging clothes room here, and then you still have a whole other side for this front closet. That kind of storage space in a 29-foot bunkhouse is super hard to find. Then down here, we do have some storage under this bed. It's actually fairly massive. So sleeping bags, pillows, all the extra bedding that you may have to hide, great spot to hide it. We do have USB ports on both sides of the bed. So we have some here and some in this closet as well. To keep your phones charged and running. USBs here as well, so you can put stuff on there and a little bench to sit down and put your shoes on every morning. Thanks for watching guys. If you want this RV sitting in your driveway, possibly at the campground, let us know over here at Legacy RV in North Logan. We're here almost every single day. Come and visit us. Thank you.